All right, here's some statistics and facts. New positions are taking on average 42 days to fill. That's across the entire United States. 73% of job seekers find the process stressful. Okay, that's on their side. And 83% of job seekers use their mobile phone or devices to search for jobs. It's just some information to help you. Now, the top three reasons candidates reject a job, this might be interesting and important, salary, company culture, and benefits. So we're going to get into goal setting, but first we have to identify where those problems are. And is it salary, company culture, or benefits? You got to be thinking about this. The next thing that we need to be thinking about is this. 63.3% of companies say retaining employees is actually harder, according to new research, of more than 600 US-based businesses with 50 to 500 employees. That means they have the resources, the benefits, the capabilities in order to uh, retain talent. But for some reason, they're saying 63% of the time, uh, it's harder to do so. Workforce participation remains below pre-pandemic levels with over 3 million fewer Americans working today compared to February of 2020. Wow, so the pool of available talent is even less in the United States. And if we take that back, that's not even taken into consideration the unemployment rate of 4.2%. So the 4.2% is probably a lot higher because people are just not going to work in the US. All right. So with that said, nearly three in five employees, that's 59%, said they experienced negative impacts of work-related stress according to a 2021 American Psychological Association survey. So people are more stressed at work. And so what did we do about it in the United States? Well, I know with the pandemic and the things that have happened, we started to become more remote, but even more so the psychological impact has caused us to become more remote. And so remote work has become more prevalent in the US. In fact, there's a trend that says remote uh, work has become a trend in the US with 26% of employees working rem uh, remotely as of 2022. So all the employees available in the United States, 22, uh, uh, 26%, I mean, are only right now working remotely. So what does that mean for you? 